Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, September 19th. And I am here with Brian Donaldson, upper elementary principal. We're going to be talking about the MAP tests, measurement of academic progress, which are administered to students in grades three through nine this week and next week. If you have a student in those grade levels, you probably have heard them talking about taking the MAP test this week. We thought it would be good to talk a bit about what the test is, as well as how the school makes use of it. Given that it is a computer adaptive test, meaning that students sit at a computer and the test questions ad adjust in level of difficulty to the student, it's a, a pretty great way for there not to be a ceiling on the test and to really see how far students can go in terms of level of difficulty. Another very important aspect of this test is that we as a school administer it three times a year. So that in January and then again at the end of the school year, we look at the students results and the focus is on growth. We want to know in the course of a school year how much has a student grown. These tests of course are administered to literally thousands of students in the United States as well as internationally. So we look to see how do our students fare both in terms of their growth at the school as well as according to US and national norms. So let's really go into MAP testing and take a look at the upper elementary and look at how is it that you use results with your students well what we're doing right now is a fantastic time because we're getting baseline data uh, for the students so uh, particularly with our third graders who just tested today um, we have a, a really nice look at them and how they're doing in mathematics um, so what we'll do is the teachers will get their individual results results for their class we also get the grades results and from there, as we look for kind of trends or, or patterns, of course, since it's the, the example with the third graders, um, it's the baseline. Um, based on the results, um, we make different plans for different groups of students. We might create uh, booster groups for students who are, are struggling, for example, in mathematics or in other areas. Um, and teachers might group kids uh, for instructions. Uh, these students are having problems with addition or subtraction, so they might put them in uh, special groups. Um, to give you an, a, a clear example, uh, my first year as principal, uh, the results were really clear that we needed to work in the area of uh, conventions, grammar, punctuation, and spelling. So we put a big action plan into place, and uh, we had fantastic results, and it really raised the performance. Um, we have uh, strong results in reading. However, that's the area that we're focusing on now, and we really use that map data in coordination or in conjunction with um, the developmental reading assessment, the DRA, as well as the report card data. So using all those uh, sources of data, sources of information, uh, we try to put together the best program we can for students as well as uh, the grade level. So it's safe to say we look at um, the results as a school, we look at the results as a grade level, we look at the results as a class, and we look at the results um, on an individual basis. So that this is indeed not just a test that is administered once a year to sort of give us a, a snapshot of how our pictures fare relative to other schools. We really use it in terms of how can we best help each student reach standards. Most definitely. So what happens is we also get a test again in the winter, and based on those results as well, we adjust plans. Um, in particular for students who aren't at grade level, that second uh, piece of information from the MAT testing is really helpful. Um, so we'll make, again, different plans. Um, uh, to adjust to the level. Um, one thing about the MAP test is because it does go for different levels is we have to look at it um, for patterns. So what's great is for, in particular, fourth and fifth grade students that have now taken the test six, uh, seven times, you really have a good picture of how, how, how the students are, are doing. Um, with our third graders, where we get the, the, the um, baseline data, uh, you know, we have to work with that a little bit. But over time, we really get a cl really clear picture of how a child's doing as well as uh, grade level or um, our division, the upper elementary. And um, given that many of our um, uh, many of our viewers are parents, what could a parent do to help his or her child with math? The 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 best thing I think uh, parents can do is look at the uh, map results, and you'll see how the child is performing against uh, other ASD students and against the U.S. norms. And it also gives you areas where a child might be really high. 
uh, for example, in mathematics, it'll give you uh, numbers and operations, problem solving, geometry, and you might find, oh, my child's really strong in problem solving, but lower in geometry. And then in coordination with your child's classroom teachers, try to find uh, ways that you can support at home uh, to um, you know, move your child to the next level of performance. It's important to take the map data in conjunction with the report card. The report card data is really accurate in terms of what the child has done in the class, but combined with the, with the map data, I think it's extremely useful, and I can tell you as a parent that I use it as well. So, so as we look at the ASD vision and we look at the various ways that we say learning is, definitely data is a part of our school vision. I think that map testing and, as you say, combined with other sources of data, um, how the student performs in class, the, the scores that are given on other assessments, we put all of those together to truly get a picture of the student. So that's, um, that's measurement of academic progress the, and the importance that we place on it. And we're using it um, as well as other data to um, improve learning at the school. Thank you.